Hello there. Well, Esther is in bed. And the other day, uh, myself and Seth, Seth did all the work I just supervised, made a birthday card for her and, and Troy was in just in the other room uh, being director of, of all, all communications. Uh, so that card has been claimed by Seth and Troy. So I, I really should try and do a card myself for her. She's in bed. It's very, very late. So I thought I'd try. So I'm going to flip the phone and let's see what happens. So the phone has been flipped and you can see the workspace here. So I'm going to be using one of these lovely green cards. I'm going to do my stamping on this white bit here. OK, so I'm going to sit down because I can actually see it now. So I am going to put, use a, a little happy birthday stamp like that. See that? And I'm going to be stamping. I'm stamping it off screen. I need to get back on the screen. There you go. Um, and this is uh, early espresso. So let's have a look at this. Happy birthday like that. Okay, that's fairly central just by sight. There's a little bit of a blip there. I might have to look, look at that if I, if I can. Now, uh, the happy birthday um, is from the uh, Celebrating You stamping set from Stamping Up. Lots of little, lots of sentiments there. Um, and I've chosen happy birthday because it's going to be Esther's birthday. Okay. Next, I'm going to be. I saw, I saw, I saw this from from a card estimate not so long ago. Uh, I'm going to be using that there, dragonfly. And um, I'm just going to stamp it on at a bit of an angle, and just put a bit of foliage around it, basically. So again, I'm going to be using the early espresso. I'm going to do a little test of stamp a minute, just make sure. I like that. I'm going to do that at a bit of an angle. Right there. That, that looks really good. I like that. Even if I do say so myself. Yeah, so it's Esther's birthday. Um, very, very soon. Um, Esther's mum and dad are going to come down for a few days. We'll have a nice time together. Have a meal, be nice, that sort of thing. So I've got some little flowers here. And the, the flowers have actually come from the set Honeybee Home. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to stick a few flowers on. Ah, no, I'm going to wipe that off because I'm, I'm going to do them in black. I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to do that in a different colour. So corrected myself so this these this again this fl flowers from from honeybee home and i'm going to use it orchid or orchid orchid oasis i can't say that word very well let's give it a little stamp looks all right so i'm going to put a little bit didn't stamp very hard there so let's just let's try some more As, as if the dragonfly is flying amongst the uh, the foliage there. This card is going to be a very simple card, mainly because it's late at night and I'm tired. And uh, another reason is because I think if, the the more I do, the worse I'll make it look. So um, Seth had great success the other day using these lovely brushes. So I'm going to try this myself. I'm going to move these inks out the way because I don't want to get my hands dirty too much. So using this brush, he did this the other day, a little sort of circular motion. He was much better than I am, I think. 
which I'm thinking, as is that going to look very good on the, with the with the green card? Maybe not. I might have to change the colour card I'm going to use because it might clash a little bit. Maybe. So I'm just keeping it very simple because I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I also, I was going to add because Esther likes them. We've got a buddlier outside. Some butterflies as well. So these are butterflies, and the butterflies are same are, are from the Dragonfly Garden set. Okay, let's give these a little stampage. I'll do a little tester. Nice. So they, basically those little blooms there, it doesn't look like it, but it reminds me of our buddlier outside. And Esther loves our buddlier because you get bees, you get all sorts. Um, and I'm not going to do the bees because the bee stamps that we've got are rather large and they'd look a little bit out of place compared to the other things. So I'm going to just do this like this. Um, how else can I spruce it up? I know. What a good way to spruce things up. Uh, some people might say it's wrecking it. I don't know. But I'm going to stick a few of these little dotty things. See these things? Got to find the right ones. Though. We had um, the delightful Ellie here last week. Uh, this week I, I, I missed her. I saw her online on Facebook, but uh, she was actually at the desk with Esther. It's very impressive. Big shout out to Ellie. And Esther's sister, Ruth, she is in New Orleans at the moment with Stamping Up, which is quite impressive. So, little droplets. And I'm going to try and peel them off. And I'm going to put them on. Randomly. Little drop it there. Little drop it there. They're incredibly hard to get off off the thing actually. So I keep talking as I do it. Put another one there. Just random. And I'll do maybe up at the top there. And a slightly different colour there. Okay, it just gives it a bit of extra stuff there. And what? I thought actually is the flowers I did the flowers in a orchid oasis and I might I might just add another bit of color to go over the top so um, I've chosen blackberry bliss blackberry bliss okay that's I'm trying to open that's it So if I get those flowers again, and just I did a little test stamp. Yep, yeah, that might work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh dear, a bit of a line there. That's all right. Let's all forgive me. So there's the black, the blackberry colour, and the and the blue there as well. And uh, yeah. Just give it a bit more rub with the other. Going there. 
Right, so next, I'm going to mount it on the card. I'm not going to use a screen card, I'm going to put the screen card back. And I'm going to use another card, excuse my arms. I'm going to use... Now Esther always thinks, says, oh, you need to use the right card, the right, make the right judgement. So um, I'm going to completely go against that and use this. Is that the right judgement? I do not know. Um... And I'm going to use these, these little um, mounty things. Esther has the correct name for them, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, dimensionals, that's what she calls them. So I'm going to flip it over. Oh, look. It's got a bit of an old uh, thing there. So. Problem is, you can't get the backing off. I can't get the backing off. I know. I'm defeated. I'm not going to use dimensionals. I'm just going to glue it because I cannot take the back off and I'm tired. So what I'm going to do, get the glue, wrong way up, get the glue, and give it a little squeeze in the corner, squeeze in the corner, squeeze in the corner, squeeze in the corner and a little, little wiggly wiggly. Flip it over. And I think that is fairly central. A little bit more, a little, little bit more space down the bottom than at the top, but there you go. So this is a very quickly made amateur in an amateur style that I am. Um, Esther's birthday card. Um, that's to, meant to replicate the budlier bush we've got outside with, with, with a dragonfly and some butterflies there and just a happy birthday stamp. Very simple. Um, I could try and go crazy and do a bigger, more complicated job, but I, try, I thought simple this time. So there's, that's what it is. Um, and uh, if you haven't said happy birthday to Esther, Say happy birthday to her. Leave a little message in the in the in the comments. Uh, lots of love, guys. So that was that. I had a little go. It wasn't quite how I'd like it to be, but um, I'm sure Esther will hopefully appreciate it. Um, bye, guys. It's way past my bedtime. Way past everybody's bedtime. So um, sleep tight, and uh, remember to say happy birthday to Esther. Bye, bye, guys.